Oh look, it takes parasites too. That's cool. Really? Yeah, harmful metals, smell and taste. It's all of the above. This is our brand new water filter. About thing, just very basic. Reverse osmosis water storage tank. You can see mount under the counter thing in the chopper. Well, for real, you want me to puncture? I don't know about that. These came in there too. Red comes out of. Oh, that's what the red's for. This thing attaches to that for some reason. And then blue supposedly goes straight up the center and hooks into this thing. Which I'm finding very hard to believe right now. Unless there's some special. These go with that. Oh, and there it is. Yeah. Ooh, new tool attachment. Very fancy. This, like that. You need me to hold it up? Yeah. Yeah, I can help. <laughs> so cool, you just bought that new drill thing. That was perfect timing. Yeah, that did work out really well, huh? <laughs> yeah, that. There. Okay, now that's in. Oh, those are little brackets that hold that thing. Yeah. There. <laughs> okay, so now this will curve back around like so feed our fresh water. This gets attached to the outlet for some strange reason. But we also need that big can right there. The tank. It's our water storage tank. The pressure tank. Which doesn't have any way to mount it. Let's just so, sit there. This is our water thief for lack of a better word. This is the thing that's gonna go in between the, uh, in our cold water line to allow it to come out into our water filter. And it's not technically not a water thief, but that's what we're calling it today. This is actually like mostly done. Here is our clean water, filtered clean water. This is already on the water thief. If I were to turn it on right now, which we're not going to. Oh, now we can, I guess we can wire this in now. The tank? I'll plumb this in now, yeah. Oh, this one goes to that. This is our tank, which, you know, it'd be a lot easier if I put it over here. Only because it's out, it keeps that free. Yeah, if there's enough hose, do whatever you yeah, need to. It doesn't get in the way of what we need to do here. This has a built in compression fitting in it. So you just stick the tube in and screw it down, that's it? That is it. Excellent. So this is where we get to drill a hole. You want it right here then? Well, 
Okay, give me a 60 second decision making period. I like it on this side better, actually. You know, I that's the way I always want to go. Wow, that thing's hot as shit. I know, I touched the sink too like an idiot. Sparks. Now, is that big enough for what we're doing? Okay, make sure the handle's pointed the right way. This okay. The push handle part. Okay, yeah, everything's lined up right. There's nothing to see. Okay. I hear water. Yeah. It's water going through our filter, going into our thing over here. It's trying to fill up this thing right here, I think, finally. Because when I did this, we got a big burst of water. So we need to just let it fill up and yeah. get reach pressure. That's why it has to go into the drain. I don't know what it's doing. It's doing its thing. Well, I don't want it to do its thing all the time. Reverse osmosis uses a semi-permeable membrane. However, by applying pressure across the membrane, it concentrates contaminants like a strainer on one side of the membrane, producing crystal clear water on the other. This is why reverse osmosis systems produce both clean drinking water and wastewater that is flushed from the system. That's why water's trickling out that black tube into the drain. So we had a little bit of an overflow situation. We jumped in the car to go to Ace Hardware for some more plumbing supplies and came back to our little water bucket overflowing all over the floor. This is what our water filter system does in the process of making clean water it also makes wastewater which we didn't know when we bought it i know super lame i i don't think we really fully did our research on how much water it wastes yeah specifically during its filling it's uh anytime it's working it's wasting yeah, we just burned a solid two gallons right there. Yeah. Clouds and thunders standing in my way. I must try to fear it out.
osmosis it turns out and I wish we had done more research but I really don't know if we would have caught this like it's kind of a strange thing and who would have known this it's so weird so essentially uh, reverse osmosis wastes water a lot of water in order to create clean water and what we have found out in the process of actually doing this is that the reverse osmosis system that we have is going to cost us greatly in water. Yeah, that one white tank, in order to fill that one white tank once, wastes 13 gallons of water in the yeah. process of filling it once. So at first we were trying to figure out, well, well like, how can we recirculate or reuse that water but when we found out it was a whole 13 gallons we we're like oh my gosh to no. make yeah to make like two gallons of water yeah it was going to use 13.8 so. gallons i'm like ah what yeah that's insane yeah and so now that we know that which is it was just really strange way to find out but now that we know that we can work around it and uh hopefully um, hopefully create something that will work instead of that. And that's what we're doing Essentially, right now. it's a four-stage water filtration system, and we're taking out one of the stages, which is the reverse osmosis stage, right? Yeah. So... Yeah, I mean, it still does a massive amount of filtering. It just doesn't do things like kill giardia which if you're getting giardia in your tap water like you need to move man. yeah we're going to be filling with municipal water so we're not i don't think we really need the reverse osmosis step and i think that will cut it won't be wasting water once we take I mean, that out it, okay i'm going to say this it does suck that we're not using the reverse osmosis right i'm sad that we found out the hard way but at the same time like <laughs> Like, I, we just, it's not even realistic in a van life. I wish we had done more research on that. It's a shame we found out this way, but like, this isn't actually, this isn't that horrible of a fix for what we're, uh, for what we're trying to yeah. do. So it's just filling without stage three? Yeah, it's not doing this. So we're filtering all the chemicals out and of the here, sediment. the chlorine taste out of here. Mm -hmm. The sediment's coming out, and the only thing that's happening right now is we're filling up that thing with uh, drinking water. Guess what we got in the mail today? Three Hepvo drain valves for the bus. So this is the Hepvo valve. And if you can see in there, it's just a one-way valve, so if I, <clears throat> it goes that way, but it won't, it won't go in reverse. So it's just a silicone tube that just kind of flattens out at the end, and water will flow right out of it, but uh, won't uh, allow to go back the other way. And this is an alternative to your standard uh, P trap, or you know, down and up and down again. So that's why we chose this. A standard P trap. Um, the way it works is that water gets caught in a little U shape down here, and so that um, air from the sewer won't get past that and come back out and burp, and you would smell it. And it would into be your home. Into your home, and it would smell really bad. When you're in an RV, um, you start driving. And when you start driving, it sloshes around. So number one, the level is down and causing uh, the smell to burp into your 
into oh. your living space. I just don't want to smell our gray tank ever. So we're installing this because it will not let any pressure come back through here. We'll never smell our gray tank. So it's just a brilliant design. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like, that thing I, I got to cut a little bit off of it. Oh, you cut it a lot. Yeah, we didn't need that much um, to go out of the bottom of the bus down here. So, um, but what I do need to do is I need to get this back up again. Here, kick this thing in. Oh gosh. There it is. Here we go again. That's what's gonna have to do. All right, see what happens here. Nice. And it drained out the Hepvo valve. That's so cool, hooray! So that's pretty neat. So we have two more of these. And when we do the rest of the drain plumbing, one of them goes over here with our um, washing machine. Washing machine. And uh, one of them uh, goes with the shower underneath. And these can work at an angle, a horizontal angle also. So you can you can set it like this and it will also work. And uh, so that's really good. So yeah, coming out of our sink, it actually has to turn and go through this valve and then head over to like to our tanks. Coming out of what? Out of the Bath shower. Tub? Out of the shower. Yeah. And then we have to go through. So we got some cool stuff planned for that. You'll see that one in some other video. Try to figure it out alone